Hey guys, what's going on? It's that home theater dude. Got a brand new episode for you today. As you can see, I'm in a completely different home theater. This is a subscriber's home theater. He contacted me. He's out in DFW, so am I. And uh, he asked me to come over and check out a system. So, I mean, I have just been really impressed with this one. And in just a couple of seconds, I'm going to turn it over to him. He's going to talk about his entire home theater. So, um, yeah, uh, we'll go ahead and get into it right after the intro. So this is my theater I uh, put together about a month ago, uh, just now finishing up the touch-up work with paint. Uh, starting at the front, I have my Sony 75 inch XBR 850 uh, that I took out of the living room because I wanted to have peace and quiet when I watch TV. No uh, dishwashers, <laughs> laundry, yeah. uh, cats getting in front of the screen, blocking my view. And uh, below it, uh, I have my... Uh, 34C uh, clips and to the left and right I have the uh, these are all reference line uh, took advantage of the 50% uh, off sale at uh, I believe it was Black Friday when they did that and then they just sat in storage for a month until I had room to bring them out so far I'm happy with their sound it will probably be a year or so before I get the itch to look at uh, the premiere line or the other stuff that uh, the home theater Dude keeps throwing up there on his channel, <laughs> making us want to go upgrade. Uh, the subwoofer is uh, the one y'all have seen before. It is the uh, 4000 series. It was supposed to have ports on the bottom, but when I ordered it, uh, I saw the price uh, for uh, 1100 and I just grabbed it. And then I realized the next day it was the SB model and not the PB model. Was there whiskey involved? No, just... Uh, <laughs> Just a long night. Then over on the right, uh, this used to be in my living room because the uh, Bose setup that I had put in the living room just wasn't cutting it. Uh, so it's just a, a little basic clips, uh, eight inch. And I cannot remember it because it's a couple years old. It works good. I figured I got the uh, ports uh, running the walls. There's a left and right. There's a left and right on the sides. And of course, the equipment is in the back right corner. So, if I want to add more subs, I have plenty of room. The uh, surround speakers, I went with the uh, reference line again. Uh, it's hard to beat two pair for 120 bucks, and right now they sound pretty good. Uh, just after experimenting, I do need to raise them up a little bit, probably to right here, which means these stands will be going away. Uh, cabling in the wall. Uh, will just mean uh, the plate will show, but I'd rather have better sound than worry about the plate. <laughs> and of course down here, like I said, uh, subwoofer out in case I felt like I needed to add another sub. And then there's one on the other side. I like your planning. Yeah. Uh, there's a HDMI uh, two for the middle TV, one on the left and right. So if I want to bring a couple more TVs in here for uh, gaming. Uh, I have that capability. On the wall are five on each side of my homemade uh, sound panels. And surprisingly, our home theater dude knew what the texture was behind it. Yeah, those are Owens Corning 703. Uh, they have a very distinct shape and the uh, texture on them is a little bit different than the rock wall that uh, you usually get with the safe and sound. So these are, they're very, very, very good. Um, DIY type of acoustic treatment for your own, for your home theater or room. Yeah, the uh, fabric is just what you get uh, speaker fabric at uh, Joanne Fabrics. Uh, you cannot see them, but I went with a company. The uh, website was inwalltext.com or something, Inwall Store. Uh, but they have like a six month uh, in house trial period. So I was like, worst case, if I don't like them, I have a hole that I have to buy another speaker for that fits that hole. But uh, so far, they sound pretty good. I went with the 650 series, uh, so top of the line. It was like 225, something like that, for a pair. So I got uh, two pair for Dolby Atmos. And my eyes are not that great, but they have uh, switches. I don't know if you can zoom in. 
to see that where you can change uh, I believe phase and ohm oh cool and that dome is uh, uh, aimable if you need it to be I don't remember sensitivity but it was in the 90s so that matched and they match up pretty well with the eclipses okay. originally I was going to have a wall with like a closet behind it in the front but the inspector said well that would be a closet therefore you have to have a window because it could be treated like a bedroom so I already had the rack but since uh, it doesn't have sides it does get plenty of air I went ahead and bought the adapter kit to uh, rack mount the Marantz I had to buy a shelf for the uh, Onkyo two channel amp so that powers the uh, the rear atmos speakers the Marantz gives you two choices I believe front or height speaker I chose height that way the amperage matches for all the rest of the speakers I usually have uh, Alexa uh, turn the stuff on for me so by the time I get out here it's already warmed up screen is down She's smart. And this is a Screen Elite uh, 125. Five, yes. 16 by 9, and it's acoustically transparent. And as you can see, the clip speaker is right over there. It's just going, it's right over it. So that, that, that's actually really cool. Speakers just, just disappear right behind the screen. And I think the way they uh, talk about the clips as being kind of bright is another reason why I went with them knowing they were going to be behind a screen. So when you calibrate, you want to make sure you're doing it with the screen in front of it that way because it will make a little bit of difference but it is sounding just fine i downloaded a couple of demos that are dolby this one is dolby silent i'll send you the web link later
All right, so that's all from this home theater. I mean, uh, it's it's been really cool. You guys have been uh, really awesome about actually contacting me in the Dallas Fort Worth area um, to actually come out and check out your home theaters, and it's it's just it's, it's just been really cool to to be able to do this. I mean, because you know sometimes you meet people over the internet and they might be weirdos, but uh, I, I've been blessed so far with uh, with meeting normal people that are just as crazy about home theater and sound like I am. And uh, I'm sitting in Johnny's second home theater because he actually has. Uh, another one in his garage convert that he didn't uh, necessarily want to get on video, but uh, he has a projector in there. I mean, a full um, full home theater system and, and whatnot. And this is his second one that is that was built on to his house to his specifications. He did all the, a lot of the hard work to to make this happen and a lot of the setup. So um, it's it's just really cool to to actually go out there and see what you guys do in your home theaters. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's just your living room. It doesn't matter if you guys have a full projector. It doesn't matter if you guys have a sound bar or, you know, a uh, full on uh, 13 channel Atmos uh, setup. But it's just really cool to, to see what you guys are, are doing out there. So um, if I'm going to go ahead and extend this this offer. If you guys are in the Dallas Fort Worth area, go ahead and give me a shout out. If you're not a weirdo, <laughs> leave your information down below and then maybe I'll be able to come out and do one of these videos at your place as well. OK. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead in this video here. Catch you guys next time.